pump completely. Remove the two 10 millimeters on the back side of the pump to take it all the way out. Once you have this off, you can cap the factory T. Take the factory T off the hose and save this assembly for later. Now we can remove these two 10 millimeters so we can start to put the tank in place. To make it easier on her later, you want to install the silicone hose on the petcock now before installing the tank into the car. Wiggle the tank up into the hole from the bottom. Get your bracket on top of the studs to put your 10 millimeters back in and use this supplied hardware for the bottom bracket into the core. Take the original hardware from the pump and mount it to the supply bracket. Loosen the clamp and rotate 180 degrees so that this nipple is facing this way. Now you're going to take the 90 off of the assembly you took off earlier. For the top of your pump. The factory soft 90 on top with the hard plastic straight with about four and a quarter of the supplied hose should give you the right depth. You're going to push the hose onto the nipple. This will give you the location for the self tappers into the bumper bracket. With the hose on and aligned and your plug in to the bottom, you should be able to run your self tappers into the bumper bracket. Make sure the bracket's straight and tighten. Hooking into the factory hose coming out of the bottom of the heat exchanger into a hard straight into 11 and a half inches of supplied hose into another barb straight into the factory 90 that we removed from the T earlier. Goes into the top nipple of the tank. Hard barb 90, five inches of supplied hose is going to tuck under here through to your side nipple on your pump. Small hose just comes straight out of the drain, the pet cock that you put on earlier, and I kind of just loop it right here to hold it. It's going to get a hole poked into the bottom of the pan and it's going to come out of the bottom pan. All right, the petcock drain line, we run over to about the center hole and come back into this radius area and pop a hole, pull your hose out a little bit, kind of trim it flush and so that it can drain out the bottom of your car when need be. When you're done, the water level should be just above this top barb inside the tank. After you're done filling your divorce system and burping your air bubbles, you want to make sure that your coolant reservoir for the car is full as well. <laughs>